it better to just pay the premium on a few bags and then just have a smaller collection? Like for example, maybe I shouldn't have bought these, like this bag, this bag, and this bag, and then I could have bought like one Birkin 25 right or something would that even equal that no I'd probably have to sacrifice like four five bags for one black Birkin 25 on the pre-love market which I don't know if that is worth it to be honest like, hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel so today I was just having some thoughts about building an Hermes collection I have gone really overboard the last few years I don't think I should have amassed this many bags this fast but at the same time it has given me a lot of experience into learning about the different leathers and the different styles and you know testing out different sizes. I really enjoyed also my time working at the purse affair. I got a little bit more insight into like what different Hermes bags look like on me and I would really recommend to anyone who is new to buying Hermes bags to go to a secondhand consignment store or something like that and really try on the bags because you might be surprised as to what you actually really like. I asked myself today if I could start again with buying my bags should I just exclusively shop at the boutique or should I do, am I happy with the direction I've gone in buying mainly bags on the secondhand market because I haven't bought that many bags from the boutique and in terms of quota bags I have only bought quota bags second hand. I have I do follow so many YouTubers guys that collect Hermes and you know a lot of them have unboxed things from the boutique like you know Burke and 25 and Kelly and Mini Kelly and I, what I've noticed is not all of them but most of them have uh, you know bought a few pieces of fine jewelry and some shoes and built up a profile in order to be able to be offered those bags and I do shop at Hermes but I've just been honestly I don't think I've been buying the right categories to be offered something and I haven't been strategically shopping at Hermes um, or playing the game to be offered a bag although I mean, it would be awesome to be offered like a Birkin 25, I'm not going to lie. For me, I've discovered Hermes more through the pre-loved market. And I wonder if I was more strict on myself and decided to only shop at the boutique, whether that would be better for me in the long run, or I would be actually, it would actually be a waste of money to do so. Because a lot of my bags I bought secondhand for like 50% off or um, you know their bags that the that Hermes don't make anymore and I feel like I have more insight into like the different years that um, like different colors that Hermes had and if I only stuck to buying from the boutique I would really be I suppose restricted to this time and colors that are in season and the certain styles and yeah, maybe that would be a good thing because it means I would shop less because I'd have to be more patient and really wait for my bag. But at the same time, if I'm building a profile and strategically shopping at Hermes, I might end up having a lot of extra um, things. Like I probably have a lot more Hermes shoes and maybe I'd have some diamonds and maybe I'd have, I mean, that would be nice. Or maybe I'd have, um, you know, some homeware stuff that maybe would just sit there and maybe I'm sure I would buy some things that wouldn't work out for me and all those like bait things you know you're not really supposed to resell things from Hermes anyway because they can block you which will definitely hinder you being offered a bag but you know if you were to resell those shoes you would lose money um and even like you know jewelry and stuff like i would love to buy like a kelly ring and some other like fine jewelry but i know if i buy those second hand i could actually save money instead of shopping at the boutique which sounds silly but i actually just really like hermes but i'm thinking should i like just buy the bait thing second hand because that way i would save so much money like for example yeah, like if I wanted to buy a Kelly ring or even an Hermes watch, it would be much more affordable for me to buy it secondhand than buy it in the store. And then I guess it could go towards my spend, but the only reason I would buy it at the store is for that reason, to have the opportunity to buy a bag. Because there's no point in buying an Hermes watch at the store when secondhand it is 
really much cheaper and I just don't know what is the better route to go because you know if I do want to buy say a Birkin 25 one day I know I'm going to have to spend over $20,000 on the sec like you know buying it second hand and I really don't want to spend that much on one handbag so that also makes me feel like uh, I would rather just wait and buy it at the store but yeah I don't know. I guess what I'm doing is I'm buying things at the store and maybe one day I'll be offered a bag, but I'm not like betting on it. But I, I know I do want a Birkin 25 or Kelly 25, like not anytime soon, but someday. And when that day comes, would I be comfortable to pay like over $20,000 in the secondhand market to buy one? Because maybe I wouldn't have been offered one in the store. Like, or would I be better off just like strategically um, shopping and buying the fine jewelry and the homewares? And the problem is when you're shopping at Hermes is you just don't know if you're going to be offered anything. And then that could be quite mentally st stressful as well. So I just don't know what the right answer is. But I guess for me, I have like very low expectation of me getting anything in the store, which is like probably not the best attitude because you should probably have confidence and... I think it's also because I really don't really necessarily care if I'm offered anything at the moment because I'm really enjoying just the bags I find secondhand because I just feel like it's more interesting to discover bags um, on the pre-love market for myself anyway. Like, I don't think I would have bought this Gypsy Air from the store, to be honest, because it's just the Gypsy Air 28. I'm pretty sure it would be over $10,000. I don't think I would have bought that from the store, but I was very happy to pay like $4,000 for it secondhand because for me that was a reasonable price for like a full leather, like really cool funky bag. And it's something that I wear and enjoy, but it's not necessarily something I would buy from the store. But then also you could argue that the pre-love market, there is so many more deals to be had and it might just mean that you end up kind of getting sucked into more uh, bargains and buying all these random pre-loved bags when really all you wanted was a Birkin 25 or like a mini Kelly, right? Like maybe you could just not look at the pre-loved market at all and then just play the game in the store. Or is it better to just pay the premium on a few bags and then just have a smaller collection? Like for example, maybe I shouldn't have bought these, like this bag, this bag, and this bag, and then I could have bought like one Birkin 25, right, or something. Would that even equal that? No, I'd probably have to sacrifice like four, five bags for one um, black Birkin 25 on the pre-love market, which I don't know if that is worth it, to be honest. Like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, what do you guys think? Are you one of those people who will only shop at the boutique because... I know that even the fake Birkin Slayer, they always say you should only shop at the boutique because there's too many super fakes out there and it's too risky and, you know, you should only, you know, yeah, that's the only way you should shop. But I just don't know if I agree with that because how are you supposed to buy, like, the really cool bags that they don't make anymore? Like, for example, again, oh, where is it? Like, this is my Kelly um, from the year 2000 and this particular colour in leather they don't make anymore so I have no choice but to buy this second hand and I bought it for like around the retail price of a Kelly in the boutique which is pretty expensive for a 20 year old bag but at the same time you know it's lasted and it looks amazing so am I better off playing a game in the store and buy and spending you know one to one or two to one to to try and get, have the opportunity to buy something similar to this or am I better off just buying this one older bag I don't know what the answer to that is, guys, because would I trade this for, like, a new Kelly 28 in the store that's in, like, gold? Like, I guess, because the value would be better, but at the same time, is it, would I be so much happier, like, having played a game and then scoring a bag than just buying a vintage one? I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. But I feel like, for me, I have gone a bit crazy buying secondhand, to be honest, and I'm someone who doesn't mind buying secondhand, so it's probably, you know, you might find if you're really into Hermes, you might end up doing a combination of both. You might find that you do get lucky and get a few bags from the store, and you might also find that you enjoy shopping pre-loved as well because you love, you wanted to find like a slouchy Birkin or like, you know, a vintage Kelly 
and you might find you actually enjoy those bags more because they're a little bit more worn in and unique and things that you can't find anymore because sometimes there's things that you can't find anymore also I kind of have a different allure and a cooler and just more intriguing to look at than new things so yeah anyways I just want to blab on about that today so let me know are you somebody who will only buy things from the boutique um and you can apply this to all brands guys you could apply it to Chanel Louis Vuitton like everywhere like because you know there are a lot of vintage uh bags out there even like older Louis Vuitton that really are kind of better than what they make today but people look down on them because they're old and you know they're also sometimes very expensive even though they're old bags so I guess it's a personal preference but yep anyways thanks for watching my video and I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye